thank you for joining me today. We are going to do a vinyasa flow. And um, for our practice today, we're only going to need two blocks. If you don't have a block, try to find something that looks like a block. And we're just going to go ahead and begin our practice. It is a really hip focused practice today. We're going to do a little bit of shoulder opening. And let's go ahead and get started. Said, let's just go ahead and sit up really tall. If you have a block with you, you can take a block, put it underneath your sits bones, sit up really tall. And again, crossing your shins one in front of another. And as you come into this place, just really go ahead and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Again, the very important part about this practice is the breathing. Being really connected within as we begin our practice. That being said, we're gonna start our practice today with a square breathing. So it is basically gonna be inhale, we're gonna pause, we're gonna exhale, we're gonna pause, and then inhale again. So it's gonna create that square pattern. So I'm gonna guide you through it. So let's go ahead and begin it. Let's take a deep breath in for us, like a cleansing breath in. And an audible breath out. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, let go. Now take a deep breath for a count of one, for two, for three. Let's go ahead and hold that exhale for one, two, three. And then go ahead and release all the way out for three, two, one, and then pause for one, two, three. Inhale, fill all the way up for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for one, two, three. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale all the way up this time. Fill your entire lungs, sending the breath down towards your hips. And then as you're ready for an exhale, the breath travels all the way up. And an audible breath out through your mouth. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, fill all the way up. Letting the breath travel in through your nostrils, to your lungs, to your belly belly to your hips, the same breath travels all the way up, taking anything that might not be resonating with you today, and a breath out. From here, with your next breath, gently flutter those eyes open, invite some light within, and go ahead and take your hands away from you. So make sure your palms are facing towards the screen, towards the front of the room. And then go ahead and take your fingers all the way away from you. So as you come into this place, with your inhale, gently go ahead and reach your hands all the way up. As you exhale, bring your hands back to neutral. Inhale, reach all the way up. You try want to try to lengthen from the side of your body. Exhale, bring all the way down. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, let go. A few more times, a little bit faster. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. A little bit more faster, in, exhale. This time maybe palms to touch, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, maybe hands comes all the way down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. We're gonna try to flush out those tightness in our shoulders by doing this, but actively press your sits bones down. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale, and then exhale. Now just go ahead and roll your shoulder heads up, back, and down. Really notice all those sensations that you're feeling in your shoulder head, but actively draw your belly in towards your spine. This time, just go ahead and reach your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Try not to bust your ribcage forward as you do that. With your exhale, go ahead and bend your elbows 90 degrees. Inhale, reach all the way up, palms to touch. As you exhale, elbows bend. Couple more times, inhale. And then exhale, elbows bend. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, elbow bend. One more time, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, elbows bend. We're gonna pick up that pace. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend. Two more times, inhale, up. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, up. Exhale, bend. We're gonna hold this bend this time. And then really try to imagine that your fingers are actively reaching up towards the ceiling. You might start feeling any sensation in your shoulder girdle, your pectorials at the front. So just take a full, full breath in here. Try to invite some sense of calmness, even when you're feeling a whole lot of things, right? So pretty much similarly to the life that we're living at this moment, right? When so much things are happening and we have so much emotion going on, but really just trying to look at the positive side of things, even though um, it might be really hard. <laughs> Take one more breath here just like this and then exhale gently release your hands down. Woo, that was quite a bit heat in our shoulders. So from here, we're gonna just go ahead and come into our tabletop. So if you have the blocks, place them right in front of your yoga mat on either side and then go ahead and come into your tabletop hands and knees. your tabletop sorry about that we're gonna go ahead and firmly press our palms down towards the earth make sure again your thumbs are not widely extended bring your thumb a little closer towards your index finger firmly press it down inhale splash your chest open invite those fresh breath into your lungs as you exhale round your back chin towards your chest press your upper back towards the ceiling Inhale, really opening up your chest. Push those shoulder head back. As you exhale, round your back, chin towards your chest. Few breaths just like this. In. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more breath just like this. Inhale, open all the way up. And then exhale, round your back. From this rounding, Come into your neutral tabletop. This time we're gonna go ahead and reach our right hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Expand that chest open. As you exhale, the right hand is gonna go all the way down, thread the needle, and rest your right temple down towards the earth. Your left elbow is bent, you can stay here just like this. You can also walk your left hand towards the front of the room. You can tend your fingertips if you want, but firmly press down the nails off your right hand. You're rotating that chest, turning those ribcage to face towards the left side, and draw your belly in towards your spine. Let your core do the work here. Take one more breath here just like this. Inhale. And exhale. From here, bring your left hand in front of your face. Press that palm down and slowly sweep that right hand all the way up towards the ceiling. And then gently bring your right hand all the way down. We're gonna do that same thing on our left side. So reach your left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Expand that chest. As you exhale, left hand goes underneath your right, to your belly, coming into your thread the needle. Your right hand is bent here. If you want, you can always crawl the right hand towards the front of the room. Tend to your right fingertip, but try to rotate your ribcage towards the right side of the room. Taking a deeper breath in, 
an audible breath out. One more breath just like this. Inhale. With your exhale, bring your right hand in front of your face. Press down through your right palm. Lift all the way up. And then gently bring your left hand down towards the earth. A couple rounds of cat and cow to just to flush everything out. So inhale, expanding your chest. As you exhale, round your back, chin towards your chest. One more time, inhale, open up. And then as you exhale, wrap. From this rounding, gently go ahead and tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up, downward facing dog. With your downward facing dog, as you're ready, can you have a gentle bend in your knees, but actively press your chest all the way back. With your next breath, inhale, rock forward, plank pose. Shoulder on top of your wrist. As you exhale, hips goes back, down dog. Couple more times, just like this. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, rock forward, plank pose. As you exhale, hips goes all the way back down, your facing dog. One more time, just like this. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, rock forward, plank pose. As you exhale, hips goes all the way back down, your facing dog. With your downward facing dog, go ahead and look forward. Past your fingertips, you can even hop or step forward. We meet in forward fold. So, of course, take your time if you're walking forward. But we meet in forward fold at the top of our mat. From here, have a gentle bend in your knees so your belly can rest on top of your thighs and then relax your head down. Inhale, halfway lift, palm presses your chin away. As you exhale, dive all the way down forward fold. We press down to rise all the way up, look up, palms to touch. As you exhale, dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, go ahead and step your left leg back. And go ahead and take your right leg back. We meet in plank pose. With your plank pose, push your hips all the way back, down with facing dog. With your down dog, inhale, rock forward, plank pose. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Palms right next to your ribcage. Make sure you're hugging your elbows in when you do this. Press your toenails down, lift up baby cobra. As you exhale, roll all the way down. One more time, press down to lift up baby cobra. As you exhale, roll all the way down. Palms underneath your shoulder girdle. Tuck your toes, press your way up to your plank pose or your tabletop, and then hips goes all the way back, down with facing dog. Take one more breath in your down dog, just like this. Can you bring an audible breath out? With your next breath, inhale, slowly sweep that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Gently go ahead and bring that right leg in between your hands. And of course, take your time as you do so. Slowly drop your back knee down, untuck your back toe. As you're ready, sweep your arms all the way up towards the ceiling, coming into your low lunge. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, gently go ahead and bring your hands down towards the earth. Left hand down, peel your right arm up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and sweep your right hand all the way back towards the back of the room. Right hand goes all the way up, forward towards the front of the room. And then go ahead and straighten out your front leg. Really good. Inhale, go ahead and bend your front knee. Again, left hand down, sweep your right hand up towards the ceiling. Right hand goes all the way back towards the back of the room. Right hand sweeps all the way up, forward and all the way down towards the earth. And then straighten out your right leg. One more time, just like this. Go ahead and bend your front knee. Sweep your right hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Right hand goes all the way back towards the back of the room, opening that shoulder. Right hand goes all the way up towards the front of the room and then straighten out your front leg. From here, you're actively pressing your sternum forward, reaching your tailbone back. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And a breath out. Maybe bring your chin towards your chest so the back of your neck is long. 
one more breath just like this as you exhale go ahead and bend your front knee tuck your back toe lift your back knee up gently go ahead and step forward into your forward fold with your forward fold inhale halfway lift palm precision away as you exhale dive all the way down forward fold we press down to rise all the way up look up palms comes to touch as you exhale dive all the way down forward fold inhale halfway lift go ahead and step your right leg back your left leg takes you back to your downward facing dog with your down dog go ahead and bend your knees a lot maybe shake your head yes or no open and close your mouth try to relax those jaws take one more breath here just like this and a breath out as you're ready slowly sweep your left leg all the way up towards the ceiling left knee towards your chest and then gently step your left leg in between your hands gently drop your back knee down on top your back toe and then sweep those arms up towards the ceiling low lunge. Actively reach those hands all the way up. Take a full breath in. With your exhale, hands comes down towards the earth. From here, slowly sweep your left hand up towards the ceiling. Easy twist. Your left hand goes all the way back towards the back of the room. Left hand goes all the way forward. All the way down. And then straighten up your front leg. Getting that hamstring stretch right here, but lengthen your chest forward. Go ahead and bend your front knee, right hand down, same thing, left hand reaches all the way up towards the ceiling, expansion in your chest as you do this. Your left hand goes all the way back, open that shoulder as if, imagine you're trying to grab something which is at the back of the room. Reach that left hand all the way up, forward and down, and then straighten out that left leg. Go ahead and bend that left knee one more time, just like this, right hand down. Peel that left arm up towards the ceiling. Left hand reaches all the way towards the back of the room. Left hand reaches all the way up, forward and all the way down towards the earth. And then straighten out that left leg. Can you firmly press that left hip back? Right hip goes forward, chest reaches forward. Take a full breath in. And a breath out. From here, gently bend your front knee. Go ahead and tuck your back toe, lift your back knee up, and then step forward into your forward fold. Relax your head down again, bend your knees a lot. From here, inhale, halfway lift, palm presses your shin away. As you exhale, dive all the way down. Firmly press down through your feet to rise all the way up, palms to touch. As you exhale, dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Your left leg goes all the way back. Your right leg takes you back to your downward facing dog. From your downward dog, inhale, rock forward, plank pose. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Again, palms really important to bring it next to your lower rib cage. Press your palm down, hug your elbows in. Press down to lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, roll all the way down. One more time, press down to lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower all the way down. From here, palms underneath your shoulder, tuck your toes. Make your way up to your plank pose. Then hips goes back to your downward facing dog. As you get to your downward facing dog, hold your downward dog for two breaths. So really just breathing in and breathing up. Take a full, full breath in and an audible breath out. One more breath just like this. Inhale, draw the breath all the way in, guys, from your nostrils to your belly, belly to your hips. The breath travels all the way up and an audible breath out through your mouth. So let's add a little bit more to that. So as you're ready, go ahead and lift your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. 
This time go ahead and bring your right knee to your right elbow. Look forward. Right leg goes all the way back. Use your strength in your palms. As you exhale, right knee, right elbow. Right leg goes all the way up. Right knee, right elbow. And then gently step your right leg right next to your right thumb. And then go ahead and drop your back heel down. We're going to rise all the way up in your warrior one. You reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and press your right hip back. Left hip comes forward. Reach your arms all the way up. Take a full, full breath in. And a breath out. One more breath just like this. Inhale. As you exhale, hands come all the way down towards the earth. And then go ahead and step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, dive all the way down. We press down to rise all the way up. Look up, palms comes to touch. As you exhale, dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, step your left leg back. Let your right leg take you back to your downward facing dog. From your down dog, inhale, rock forward, plank pose. From your plank pose, take a chaturanga or lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog. As you exhale, downward facing dog. And really just hold this down dog for two breaths. Really notice how your physical body feels. Maybe also really notice how your breath feels in your body. Take a full, full breath in. And a breath out. One more breath just like this. Inhale. Left knee, left elbow, look forward. Left leg goes all the way up. Left knee, left elbow. Left leg goes all the way up. One more time, left knee, left elbow. And then step your left leg right next to your left thumb. Gently drop your back heel down. Press down through your strong legs to rise all the way up. Warrior one. We're here for two breaths in our warrior one. So can you bend a little deeper into your front knee? But can you press down your right pinky toe down towards the earth? One more breath here, just like this. Inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down towards the earth. Step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, dive down. We press down to rise all the way up. Look up, palms to touch. As you exhale, dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, your right leg goes back. Let your left leg take you back to your downward facing dog. With your downward facing dog, inhale, rock forward, plank pose. As you exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or baby cobra. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Take one more breath in your down dog. And a breath up. From your gently tapping knees down. If for some reason child's pose doesn't feel good in your body, you can always come into a meditative place just like this. But try to really feel the breath. Try to also notice how the physical body might be Thank you. 
couple rounds of technical just to sort of um, cleanse that movement that you just practiced. Again, press your palm down, flash your chest open. As you exhale round, your back should be with your chest. Inhale, open your chest up, belly down. As you exhale, belly in, round your back, chin to with your chest. Maybe close your eyes as you move through this movement. Maybe just shaking your head, yes or no. Or maybe taking any barrel circles with your body. Any movement that feels good in the catacombs. We're here for the next like three rounds of breath, just like this. Cover those knees off from the earth and then really reach the crown of your head forward. From here, reach your left leg all the way back. Left knee towards your chest. Left leg goes all the way back. Left knee towards your chest. And then bring your left leg down and drop your knees down. Let's say cat and cow. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, round your back. One more time, inhale, up the line. And then exhale, round. From here again, go ahead and come into your neutral tabletop, tuck your toes, and then lift those knees up. With your knees lifted, go ahead and take your right leg all the way back. Go ahead and bring your right knee towards your chest. Right leg goes all the way back. Right knee to the chest. Right leg goes all the way back. Bring your right leg down and drop your knees down. That was pretty hard, right? I felt it too. I'm like sweating. <laughs> so inhale, open up your chest. And then push all the breath out. Now, with nothing left, you can gather all the fresh breath in one more time. And then exhale, round. From here, tuck your toes. Let's make our way to our downward facing dog. With your downward facing dog, have a gentle bend in your knees. Press your chest all the way back towards your thigh. Take a full breath in. And a breath out. Ready, slowly sweep your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bring your right knee towards your chest. Right leg goes all the way up. Right knee towards your chest. One more time, right leg goes all the way up. Right knee towards your chest. And then step your right leg in between your hands. Go ahead and drop your back knee down, untuck your back toe just like before. And you're going to just slowly sweep your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Low lunge. With this low lunge, what we're basically going to do is to remove both of our hands and put them on our lower back. You so your elbows are bent. Right? Your chest is reaching forward. From here, as you come inhale round forward, with your exhale, open up your chest. Inhale, and then exhale, push those elbows up, inhale, and exhale, one more time, inhale, and exhale, from here coming to your neutral spine, you can either keep your hands here, or if you're modifying, you bring your hands down towards the earth, so if you're keeping your hands on your lower back, if you're bringing your hands down, you just simply bring your hands down to the side. We are here for two more breaths. Y'all so you so but can you open up your chest? We're here for three. If your hands are down, you can try one, one hand at a time, right? Challenge yourself. 
right here for two. And then we're here for one. And then go ahead and bend that front. Both hands down if your hands are not already down. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee up. From here, we're gonna slowly open up into our warrior two. So bend your front knee. You wanna sink down through your front hip. Press down through your left big toe and then reach those fingers away. Take a full breath in here and a breath out. From here, inhale, straighten out both of your legs, palms to touch. As you exhale, warrior two to the back of the room. There you go. Inhale, lift all the way up. Warrior two to the front of the room. Couple more times. Inhale, lift all the way up. Warrior two to the back of the room. Inhale, lift all the way up. Warrior two to the front of the room. This time, as you come into your warrior two, go ahead and bring your right forearm on your right thigh. And then sweep that left hand overhead towards the front of the room. We are here for three. Maybe smile for two. Can you relax your shoulders away from your ears? For one more breath. And then gently go ahead and use your long, strong legs and then reach that bottom hand towards the front of the room. We're here for one more breath just like this. And then straighten out both of your legs, rise all the way up. From here, bring your hands all the way down. And then you're gonna basically just to reach all the way forward, slide that right hand down towards your leg. The left hand reaches all the way. And I know this is a little longer than our regular triangle pose, but really try to notice the space that you're creating in your left side of your body. From here, come all the way up. Hands reaches to both sides of the room. Turn your right toes towards the front of the room and your left toes turns towards the back of the room and we take a triangle pose facing the back of the room. One more breath just like this. And then come all the way up. Tee your arms and then turn your right toes towards the front of the room. From here, grow, slowly sweep your back hand, left hand towards the front. We come into a crescent lunge with your crescent lunge. So this is a challenge, right? So of course, listen to your body more than you're listening to me. You can either bring your hands to heart center, lean forward, and then fly into your warrior three. You can also bring your hands on the floor or hands on the block to take that support of your legs and then come into your warrior three. But we, wherever you are, we are here for three. We're here for two, maybe reach your hands all the way back, your airplane, open that chest, and then on your next breath, you meet in forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, dive all the way down. Press down to rise all the way up, look up, palms to touch. As you exhale, dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, step your left leg back. Let your right leg take you back to your downward facing dog. With your down dog, inhale, rock forward, plank pose. As you exhale, chaturanga, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. And then glide your hips back, downward facing dog. Just two breaths in your down dog. And a breath up. Can you firmly press your fingers down towards the earth? Taking a deep breath in. And a breath up. Try one more breath just like this. Inhale. And exhale. This time we're going to slowly sweep that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and bring that left knee towards your chest. 
Left leg goes all the way back. Left knee towards your chest. One more time. Left leg goes all the way back. Left knee towards your chest. And then step your left leg in between your hands. Gently drop your back knee down. Untuck your back toe. Sweep those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Coming into your low lunge. And again, low lunge, oftentimes we just slouch down, try to reach up, right? Imagine that you can touch the ceiling. From here, slowly go ahead and bring both of your hands to rest on your lower back. As you do this, press those elbows away and the sternum reaches forward. From here, go ahead and expand your chest. And on your exhale, you round your back, elbows come in. Open all the way up, maybe take a back bend. Exhale, round. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, round. From here, inhale, open up. So this is where we take the modification. If you're modifying, you bring your hands down and then simply just straighten out your front leg. And you can just bring your one hand at the back, one at a time, trying to challenge yourself. If you're not modifying, then you're just straightening out your leg. But reach that chest forward, push that left hip back. We are here for three breaths just like this. For two. One more breath just like this. And then go ahead and gently bend your front knee, both hands down. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee up. And then just like your warrior, open up into your warrior too. So keep that bend in your front knee. And as you come here, can we settle down into our warrior too? Can you splash your chest open? Draw that breath in. And a breath out. From your inhale, straighten out both of your legs, hands reaches up. As you exhale, warrior two to the back of the room. Inhale, straighten out both of your legs. Warrior two to the front of the room. Inhale, straighten out both of your legs. Warrior two to the back of the room. One more time, inhale, straighten out both of your legs. Warrior two to the front of the room. From here, go ahead and bring your left forearm to your left thigh and then sweep that arm, right arm towards the front of the room. Can you keep that bend in your front knee? Can you splash that chest open? And if you wanna challenge yourself, maybe reach that bottom hand towards the front of the room. We're here for three. We're here for two. And then one rise all the way up. Tee your arms left and right. This time, go ahead and walk your right foot just a couple of inches in front. And then push that left hip back. So you steer that right hip forward. Reach forward, forward, forward with your left hand. Then you come into your triangle pose. So if you have a block underneath your palm, use the block. You can also place your hand on your shin. But try not to lock that left leg. One more breath here, just like this. Open up your chest. And a breath up. From here, slowly come all the way up. Now turn your left toes towards the left side of the room. And then turn your right toes towards the back of the room. We're going to take that triangle pose on our right side. Slowly swoop all the way down. Try not to dump everything down, right? So you're pressing down to lift up. One more breath, just like this. With your next breath, slowly make your way up. Tee your arms left and right. Turn both of your toes to face the left side. And then turn your left toes towards the front of the room. You're going to sweep your right hand all the way forward, facing the left. So facing the front of the room. So we've been here before, right? So if you want to fly into your warrior three, you can bring your hands to your heart center. Just fly into your warrior three. You can 
also bring your hands on the earth or on the block for three. Try to square that hip, but firmly press that right heel back for two. You can reach that hand back, fly like an airplane for one. And then dive all the way down for four. four. Inhale, half we lift. As you exhale, take your right leg back. Your left leg takes you back to your downward facing dog. This would be the very last vinyasa if you're taking it. So inhale, rock forward plank pose. We're gonna add a little bit more fun here, okay? As you exhale, bend your elbow chaturanga. Press up to your plank. Bend your elbow chaturanga. Press up to your plank. You can drop your knees down at any point. Press up to your chaturanga. Up to your plank. And then upward facing dog. Splash that chest open. And then as you exhale, child's pose. Because we really deserve this child's pose, no? <laughs> so really like feel the beating of your heart. Take a deep, deep breath in and a full breath out. The breath that is not holding back. The breath that flows within you and out of you very effortlessly. Taking one more breath here just like this. And a breath out. From your child's pose, slowly make your way up and then sit on your shins. And then from there, we're basically gonna do a back bend. We're gonna do a candle for our back bend today. So go ahead and tuck all of your toes, even your pinky toes. We're gonna start with the toes pose before we do the candle. So we're gonna sit here just like this. And if you have a tighter ankle, if you have a tighter feet, you're gonna feel this really quickly. And if that's you, you wanna take a break, you can bring your hands down and then come back again. Visit that sensation, notice how you feel. You can also reach your hands forward. We're here for three. We're here for two. And then one, slowly bring your hands down and then untuck your toes. Okay, this is where the fun begins, okay? <laughs> I feel like every time I say that, something crazy is about to happen. <laughs> okay, so from here, my knees are separated wider apart. My feet are separated wider apart. So I'm going to do it from my profile so uh, you guys can see it properly. So I'm basically just going to reach my hand forward as if I'm going to... I don't know, I don't have a cat here, but I'm gonna imagine that there's a cat and I'm gonna try to grab her. So I'm like trying to reach at her, but then she's like, nope. And then she just like sort of pushes me back and then I just lean all the way back. Ooh, that's a lot for the quadricep. Come all the way forward. Exhale, go back. Come all the way forward. Exhale, go back. Come all the way forward. Exhale, go back. One more time, come all the way forward. And then exhale, go back. This time we're gonna hold for three. Maybe smile for two. And then one, come all the way forward. And then just gently sit down on your shins. That's pretty fun. Take a deep breath in. And a full, slow breath out. Try not to rush your exhale. Also try not to forcefully take so much of breath in. Make sure you are on this steady pace of letting the breath in and letting the breath flow out of you. Okay, now we're gonna do a back bend. So come all the way up. If you have a block, you can. what you can basically do is if you can't grab your heels, you can place the block right next to your ankles just like this. So when I do a camel pose, I always imagine that my front body is sticking to a wall. So if something, imagine a sticker sticking to a wall and you slowly peel that sticker back. So you're peeling your upper body back. 
So that's what I usually think when I do a back bend. But when you do it, imagine that you're going up before you go back, right? So you're pushing down to rise up. And then the second you can't go up, then you go back. So we're gonna start with our hands on our lower back. Press the heel of your hand against your sacrum. And then lift your chest up. Try to go up, up, up with your chest. And then maybe when you can't go up, you go back. And then you slowly come back down. Come to your tabletop. We're gonna do that two more times. So you always wanna neutralize your spine when you are done with the back bend. Okay, let's do two more times just like this. And you have the option of going deeper this time. You can bring your hands on your thighs. You can also bring your hands on the block or also on the heels. So let's start with our hands on our lower back. Press the sacrum down, splash the chest open. Inhale, fill all the way up, rise up. And then as you exhale, slowly lean back. Maybe the hands come to your thighs, lean all the way back. And you come up when you can't breathe, right? <laughs> we don't stay there when our face turns purple and blue. <laughs> Make sure you're breathing. <laughs> so come into your tabletop, just catch a couple rounds of breath here. And a breath out. One more time, just like that. And a breath out. Yeah, okay, this time we're gonna come all the way up. So if you wanna go deeper, you can go deeper. If your body doesn't allow you to do so, you can just stay wherever you were before. I personally like to tuck my toes when I come, uh, when I wanna grab my toes. So if that's you, you can just tuck your toes, making sure that your hips are aligned with your knees. So you're not going back, pushing your hips all the way back, right? So take a full breath in and with your exhale, you roll back. And if you're grabbing your knees, um, and not your knees, your heels, try to grab both at the same time. And again, when you can't breathe, that's when you want to come out of it. <laughs> so slowly make your way to your tabletop. From here, we're just gonna swing our hips to one side. We're gonna do a couple rounds of back bend. So lower all the way, not back bend, hip opener. Lower all the way down onto your back. So as you come here, go ahead and hug both of your knees towards your chest. You can rock from side to side. I'm gonna give you a couple of options today. You can always come into figure four. So you can cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh, press that right knee away. You can stay here. You can also interlace your hand behind your left thigh, coming into that figure four. So that would be option one. Option two would be crossing at your thighs and then drawing your knee closer. You can either grab your shin, your ankle, or your foot. So this would be Gomukhasana leg, and then you rock from side to side. You can stay in stillness if you want. We are here for three rounds of breath. Two more breath in. If you feel the need to stay here a little longer, don't let me stop you. If you're ready to switch side, just bring both of your feet down on the earth first. And then just sway your knees from side to side. Make sure your feet are separated towards the edges of your mat when you do this. Yeah, okay. So if you're taking a figure four, this time the left ankle is going to be on top of your right thigh. You can press your left knee away from you. You can also catch your interlace behind your right thigh. Pull that 
left shin closer towards the earth and then you can rock from side to side this is option one option two is you are going to cross your left thigh in front of your right and you're going to try to bring that left knee closer towards your chest by squeezing in you can grab your um, both of your ankles or your foot whatever is possible for you and then you're slowly either rocking from side to side if you want movement you can also be in stillness if stillness is something that your body feels um, like it needs at the moment again we are here for three more breaths so really try to also feel the opening in your outer hip but at the same time really try to feel the support of the earth beneath you Take one more breath here, just like this. And a breath out. Slowly release your feet down towards the earth. Separate your feet towards the edges of your yoga mat again. And then gently rock your knees from side to side. And as you come into this place, we're gonna go ahead and take a supine twist. So make sure your feet are right underneath your knees, coming to your neutral spine. We're just going to go ahead and drop both of our knees to our right. And then reach both of our hands to either side of the room. You can goal post your arms. You can also extend your arms if you want. Um, you can look up towards the ceiling if you want a little bit of neck stretch. You can look towards your left thumb. Making sure that your shoulder blades are on the earth when you do this. Take one more breath here, just like this. And a breath out. Slowly make your way back to center. And then switch side. This time the knees are going to drop to the left. Hands are going to go to either side of the room. And you can either look up towards the ceiling, having a neutral neck. You can also look at your right thumb. Just taking a deeper breath in. And a breath out. Take one more breath here, just like this. Inhale. And exhale. From here, come back to neutral. And then from here, go ahead and come into your happy baby, hugging your knees in, grabbing your ankle, shin, or even the razor edge of your foot, rocking from side to side. You can always reach your legs all the way up towards the ceiling, coming into your supported shoulder stand. You can have your um, block underneath your lower back if you want. A little bit of a height and then reach your legs all the way up. I like to reach my hands up too when I do this. Just really imagine everything is like falling down, <laughs> especially things that are not serving me or doesn't resonate with me in this moment. We're here for three. And another fun fact about this pose is that you're actually releasing all the lactic acid to your belly. So Tomorrow, you're not going to be that sore. <laughs> and then one more breath just like this. And then from here, gently make your way down. And if there's any last pose that your body's absolutely craving, go ahead and take that. But if you are ready, go ahead and make your way to your Savasana. So taking any of the props that you have with you. Um, you can have the blocks underneath your knees as you come in here. If you have a blanket, you can uh, put the blanket on top of your belly. You can also have the blanket and cover up your legs. But take just a couple more minutes to just settle into your savasana. And then as you come into stillness, can I encourage 
encourage you to take a deep breath in and an audible breath out. One more time, let's do it together. Take a full, full breath in, fill all the way up. Pause at the top of your inhale, sip a little bit more air, and exhale, let it go. Take a deep rest. Savasana. your way all the way up to a comfortable seated place. As you come all the way up, let's go ahead and bring our palms to touch in front of our heart center. Acknowledging the space, acknowledging this community to just be able to practice together despite the circumstances. Acknowledging the strength in our physical body, in our mind. And I hope you guys were able to just be present in your practice and take this gift with you as you walk away from your mat today and as you continue the rest of your day. May you go in peace. Namaste. so much guys for practicing with me today it was such a fun uh, we do like share this uh, virtually with you all if 
you guys like my yoga videos, please feel free to comment down below and also hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys soon.